Why would you want to employ, it can't be good for business, can it? I mean, why would you want to employ some, it's going to be very st stereotypical here, a very young person, know nothing in the world, you know, why would you want to employ them? Employers say, and they have surveyed this, that 77% 70, 70, 70, of employers believe apprenticeships make them more competitive. So that's very, very important because it's going to make you more competitive. 76%, 70, 6% say apprenticeships provide higher overall productivity. So not only are you going to be more competitive, but they're actually going to produce more for you. So again, another good reason. 8% feel that apprenticeships reduce staff. I started with uh, London Transport in 1976. I left them 17 years later. That is quite a typical story for apprentices. They tend to stay with companies a lot longer than your normal staff. 59% report that Training apprentices is more cost effective than hiring skilled staff. You must have had the experience of where you've hired staff in, they can't do the job, and then you have to retrain them. Well, with apprentices, they're coming in at quite a low value wage, you're not expecting them to know the world, and the answer is they can actually do some, the training required for your company. 53% 50, 50, feel they reduce recruitment costs. If they're staying longer, you don't need to re replace them. If you don't need to replace them, it's gonna reduce your costs as well. Most importantly, apprentices will deliver the skills designed around your business needs. So we don't put, or people don't put apprentices in uh, a business administration when they should be in a factory. So you are going to get the skill set required for your company for the future of your company. So again, that's very, very important. In layman terms, because I really like speaking in plain language, you're going to get the edge over companies. So that's going to make you money. So that's very, very important. More output employee makes you money. Less staff turning saves you money. Cheaper or less training in-house saves you money. Retain staff and loyalty saves you money. And my last point is apprentices meet your needs. So again, they are going to save you money. So there's lots of cost-saving reasons for employing apprentices. So for an employer point of view, you'd think it would be a no-brainer. But we still have companies that don't want to employ young people as apprentices. We are slowly getting around that. Well, people say, well, that's okay. Uh, we are uh, with cheap, cheap labour. Apprentices are, can only cost you up to £2.60 an hour. Wouldn't recommend £2.60 an hour because you get very few people applying for your job. But hey, there are jobs out at £2.60, less than the national minimum wage. So again, there's a, an incentive for that. So why would somebody want to become an apprentice? Well, you're going to earn while you learn. So if you are an apprentice, you are going to do a host of qualifications whilst you're being employed. And so in real terms, you're going to get the proper qualifications that are suitable for business. So if you are an electrician, you are going to get the correct electrical qualifications that's going to allow you to become an electrician in three or four years' time. If you're in business administration, it's going to give you the correct requirements for carrying out business administration duties in your company. So much so now, we've actually got different frameworks for different types of business administration. So you can come and do general business administration, you can come and do legal secretaries, you can come and do medical secretaries. So we, the government are now sponsoring different programs for exact specific needs of different sectors. Real work experiences, good and bad. Um, that is about life and life skills. If you're an apprentice, there will be days at work where you are having a bad day. Um, my worst case scenario was when I worked for London Transport. My final year of my apprenticeship was working in Luton. I lived at Gravesend. So I was giving, getting up at about three o'clock in the morning, catching, um, get, taking my motorbike to the local uh, bus station. I was then picked up by a staff bus. That means I was being at work for half past seven. I'd work until four o'clock and then getting home about eight o'clock at night. That is the worst experience I had as an apprentice. But you, you've got to realise that with the good, also can come bad. There will be when people first start uh, work, there will be sweeping the floor, there will be making the tea. And we do like two sugars, so that's fine. But I say, you've got to take that in, in comparison. When you take on an apprentice or you are an apprentice, there are going to be things that are around the edges of the apprenticeship. However, it can, and in most cases, give you the opportunity for higher education. There is no reason why anyone starting an apprenticeship at level two cannot go on to higher education, either at my college or at another college in the era. And the apprenticeship is only the start of 
you're learning in the way of your trade or your skills because technology moves very very fast um, and so even though you do the apprenticeship scheme you're still going to have to update after you finish your training so again there are all sorts of reasons and the emphasis coming through these days is that higher education at the end of an apprenticeship is the normal case and, St and Steve from Coburn Engineering who's uh, one of the guest speakers this afternoon he actually encourages his apprentices to when they finish their apprenticeship to actually go on to HNC which is the High National Certificate which is higher education. So uh, we as uh, Havering College um, we still offer out vacancies. we don't actually employ apprentices on behalf of companies although we can offer that as a, an option however we still have vacancies on something called the National Apprenticeship website um, we've had vacancies and we've probably fulfilled 50 companies in the last year and we've supplied probably about 120 to 200 apprentices to local companies um, we advertise the vacancies and these, ad these vacancies are advertised on the apprenticeship website which is www.apprenticeships.org.uk. Um, young people apply for these positions um, and as long as they read the questions, which is always quite nice, fill in the application form fully, which was always very, very nice, and actually use proper grammar because me and Roy unfortunately have to sift these and the amount of text speak that we get through is very off-putting because a lot of employers don't like text speak. Um, and one of the biggest uh, issues we have is that if someone is applying for a business administration uh, job and they're using you know, not the correct grammar, not the correct capital letters in the correct place, it doesn't show too well when we give these over to the employers. So again, just making sure that when people fill in these vacancies that they actually fill them in complete, complete and proper. <laughs> 